everyone, welcome to this new video to talk about Einstein within Journey Builder. So what's the artificial intelligence that you can find uh, within Journey Builder? So there is three different flow control widget items that I would like to focus on. And the uh, first one is Einstein send time optimization. So I will just show you by adding like an email widget. So my journey will send an email. So I will come to select here an email and then we will talk about Einstein STO, send time optimization. So let's just have a look at this. So as you can see here, I can select a message. So I will just pick a random message in here. So I will take, uh, for example, uh, this one, like a preference center email, but it's just for testing purpose. So now that I drag and drop my email here, I will be able to use Einstein's send time optimization, and I will just come to put it here. So what Einstein's send time optimization do is basically um, it will take the data from a contact, from all your contacts over the last 90 days, and they will define within the time frame of 24 hours uh, when is the best time to send an email communication. I can also choose like a longer time frame or a shorter one, but I would recommend keep using 24 hours. And basically what it does is like before sending an email or like a push notification, you can use the Einstein STO widget in front of the email in order to uh, gather the data that you already have in Marketing Cloud analyze it and determine, define which is the best send time. So this is um, Einstein send time optimization. Now we will take another one, another one that is quite interesting as well. It's called frequency split. So what frequency split is, if you work with uh, online advertising, such as Facebook ads, you must be um, familiar with what we call frequency and also audience fatigue. So here, as you can see, there is different uh, segments that are already created uh, from like the out of the box segment. So Einstein within Marketing Cloud know your customer and know that the subscriber that is entering the journey here, they will know if is considered as saturated or on target or under saturated. Long story short is does this subscriber receive too much email or not enough email? And based on the data that Marketing Cloud have about a specific subscriber, you can create different branch and different path. So as you can see here, we have like a path for undersaturated. So it means that the subscriber that enters the journey will receive this email, but we will also create a new path for uh, oversaturated and we will click down. So as you can see here, I have a new branch and here, as I have a new branch, I can send, for example, another type of email. So this is pretty interesting as well, because based on um, how people are feeling with your communication, if they receive too much email communication or not enough, you will be able to adapt your communication and send more or less email. So here I will choose uh, OTE issues, which is another email template. And here I will have that. So I will just put this here. And here, as you can see, based on the audience, if the subscriber is undersaturated or saturated, he will take a different path and receive a different communication. And if is if the subscriber is in none of this segment, then he will go to the reminder path and exit the journey. And now we have the last and um, the last uh, flow control widget from Journey Builder that is related to Einstein and hence artificial intelligence, it's called scoring split. So I will put scoring split here and we will find out what it is. So scoring split is a different one in a way that um, we like Marketing Cloud have some data about your customers. So they understand if you are uh, familiar with the, the term buyer persona, Marketing Cloud already has some buyer persona that are ready to go. Like And with this widget, you will compare your subscriber that is entering this journey with one of the buyer persona. So as you can see, uh, here we can select the, the first option and here you will have different persona that are available. So for example, the loyalists, like people that are really loyal to your brand or like people that are um, like uh, dormant. So it means like they are not, they don't interact with your communication. Based on that, you will be able to add different paths and hence you will also be able to send different communication. So for example, the loyalist will receive uh, an SMS and the um, dormant, so like people that are not interacting with your communication, will receive an email. And this is pretty interesting and powerful. So another thing that we can do, so we, there is different ways. So like the persona are the main one. After we have the open like, like hood and click like hood. So this is an unsubscribe as well. So this is based, um, those people are more likely to open your email. Those people are more likely to click on your email, unsubscribe or do a web conversion. Uh, through Google Analytics in this case. But just let's take open like hood and here we will have like, again, different paths. So like people that are really um, ready to open your email, you can add a path for them that is specific. And Marketing Cloud already already knows like the data about your subscriber. So in a few clicks, you can have that. 
and then you have less likely. So like for people that are not likely uh, to open your email, then maybe you send them an SMS in this case, but you have like the branch that are already created. So this is, I think, uh, the, po the, the power of uh, scoring split from Einstein widget is that you have different persona and you have the possibility to adapt your communication based on um, the data that is aggregated about your subscriber uh, within Marketing Cloud. So this is like the three Einstein widgets that you can find within Journey Builder in Marketing Cloud. If you have any question, please let me know and thank you for watching this video. Thank you.